mind standing out. I like being the center of attention. Good evening, everyone. The highlights of the news this Thursday. Traffic accidents. Run, 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 run. A Beaver County man is being held for murder. And more labor. So, um, I was going to have a vlog up today about my dad. Uh, that's going to be delayed a little bit because I need to work through some stuff. Um, I want to make it right. I don't want to obsess over it and that way it would never come out, but I don't want to just slap it together and, um, throw it up. He, he deserves more than that. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about actually today is appearance. Right? Um, so if you watch any of my other videos, uh, the Run Wombat Runs, I'm usually in my, my workout clothes, um, which is just shorts and a t-shirt or sweatpants and a t-shirt or whatever. Um, as a 41-year-old man, I, who is fat and has, um, well, bad teeth and horrible fingernails, I have to have something that I feel like I, uh, excel in. And one of those things that I do is my dress and my appearance. I, I try. You feel better. At least I do. And when you dress well, people seem to take you more seriously. You, you give yourself an air of authority, an air of seriousness that doesn't always come through if you're wearing the comic book shirt and shorts, which is a perfectly okay thing to wear, right? I'm not I'm not judging people on on what they wear. It's how you wear things, right? So I'm a fat guy, and uh, I have a beard, and generally I try to stay away from shirts with a lot of logos, um, jean shorts, which should have died in the 90s, uh, and, and things like that. I do have days where I feel like being a bum, and I just go out and whatever. But, but, for the most part, I do my best to um, dress well. Uh, I like bow ties, I like pens, um, and I like uh, presenting myself, right? I don't like patterned clothes a whole lot especially stripes. I, I like pinstripes. Pinstripes are nice, but the horizontal stripes, once again, if you're a fat guy, don't, don't do horizontal stripes. You, you look like the machine. Yeah. Skinny tall dudes, you can wear horizontal stripes all day long. I like coordinating colors. I know some of you out there like to, to clash colors. You know who I'm talking to. So I, I generally like to, to do that. I wear all colors in the rainbow, just about. Uh, I do like pink. I look good in pink. I try to avoid yellows because uh, the blonde hair, the pasty complexion, yellow, just no. Woo! Talking about clothes. Strange. All right. Clothing. Um, the most important thing, right, to me is your shoes, right? Don't ever balk about spending some money on shoes. Uh, mostly because your feet carry you everywhere, and you, sh you should take care of them. And... So where I work, I'm an administrative assistant. I sit in an office chair all day, um, and deal with people all day. So it is important to me to dress nicely for work. I used to not dress like this. This used to be me. Yeah. Um, and that was a normal everyday outfit. Uh, I made the decision about 10 years ago that I was not gonna dress like this anymore. I was going to dress at a higher level. Um, with my weight gain, my weight loss, it's been tough. I have, in some places, a lot more clothes than I need, in other places, not enough. Uh, but um, I'm hopefully kind of known as the, the guy who dresses well uh, 
for the most part. Um, and, and two, it also depends on your job, right? So I, I joke about comic book shirts and, and jean shorts. Uh, a man that I respected very much that ran a local card store where I played Magic, that was his pretty much every day, like when he was at, at work. Um, I didn't know him outside of work, but... And that's fine, because that's sort of the crowd that you're in, right? Like, if you're working in a comic book store or a, a card store or a gaming store, right, you wouldn't look normal wearing a shirt and tie. I mean, normal is a subjective term, but you get my point. So you dress for your job. Also, smell good. Like, you don't need to have body odor. Um, I understand that there are some some days where it's just avoidable, but uh, you can carry around deodorant. They're small. Um, I carry a bag with me everywhere I go has things in it like deodorant, cologne, stuff like that. I guess this is life advice. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Huh. So a couple tips for guys. Right, I don't, I don't purport to be a, an expert in style or uh, fashion or anything like that. I don't understand fashion. Um, really don't understand it's like that. But a man or a woman needs to have a set of clothes that they can always put on to impress. Now you don't have to wear them every day, but you should. Right, and, and guys especially, I'm talking to guys here. You should have a pair, of, a nice pair of black leather shoes, a nice pair of brown leather shoes, at the minimum, a nice pair of sneakers, tennis shoes, and a ratty old nasty pair of sneakers that you mow the lawn, work on the car, do whatever. Don't, don't wear your nice white sneakers. Don't wear white sneakers unless that's like the look you're going for. Um, just don't wear your nice sneakers to do those type of things or else they become the ratty sneakers. Then you have two pairs of ratty sneakers and sneakers can be expensive. If you're going to wear leather shoes and you're going to wear slacks, uh, your belt needs to match your shoes. All the leather on your body needs to match. So brown shoes, brown belt. If you're going to wear a leather watch, brown band. Simple stuff like that. Do, do something with the hair, guys. Like, you don't have to spend 20 minutes making sure every hair is in place. Uh, but, you know, run a comb through it. Come on. You, you can do that, right? We all have our uniforms, okay? My, my uniform, um, I'm an administrative assistant. I sit in an office all day, answer phones, and talk to people. Uh, I am the first point of contact for a lot of people to come into my work. So my uniform is to dress nicely. Right? I dress a little nicely, a little more nicely than the dress code requires, but I've always, not always, in the last, since that, I've always done my best to dress better than expected. So I don't purport to be a specialist in style or fashion. I, I don't understand fashion. Um, but if, if guys want to dress a little better, if they want to up their game a little bit, and especially if they're heavy guys, right? Because heavy guys have a tendency to, um, make bad choices when it comes to clothing. Like, bad choices. Yeah. Um... Dude, hor horizontal stripes? Uh -huh. Go. No. You look like the Michelin Man. Don't do that. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I want to help people do that. Right? That's, that's one of the things I like to do. Uh, I like to help people with their problems as long as it doesn't involve me whatsoever. Right? Once, once you start to involve me in the problem, it gets very weird. Um, but I can, I can tell you how to do all kinds of things. Because uh, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. Anyway, uh, fat guys, we have a tendency to wear beards. Um, beards are a thing. 
now with a lot of people. Um, mine, I because well, just look at my first vlog. I look like a very strange old man without a beard. Um, I was looking back at a picture the other day, ten years ago. I didn't have any gray in my beard. Now it's, oof. Okay. That is sort of like one of the things that I like to do. And I'm, I'm working with one young man now who, his idea of dressing up was uh, black tennis shoes, white socks, dress slacks, uh, no belt with his tidy whities showing and wrinkled dress shirts. Yeah, I'm talking about doofus. That's what he runs in and works in and lives in. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to guide him along and, and, and help show him, you know, there's better ways to, to do this. And so one of the things that I want to maybe incorporate into the blog occasionally is um, showing like those little things and talking about it and, and, and going from there. So if that's something you're, you're, you would be interested in, let me know in the comments below. I, I have all kinds of style tips uh, for fat dudes. Skinny guys, y'all wear things like that. I, I, I still don't get that. But anyway guys, um, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you want to hit that like button below and comment, let me know uh, what's your style. What are things that you like to wear? What are things that you won't wear? I personally won't wear cargo shorts anymore. Those are doing photos that might... No, I will not wear cargo shorts anymore. And I will not wear jean shorts anymore. I, I left those back in 1997. Um, but what's your style? What are things that you think every man should have in their wardrobe? What are things that you think, uh, you know, as men, what, what do you like to wear? What do you not like to wear? For women, what do you like to see men in? What don't you like to see men in? Comment below. Let's let's have a discussion about this. Um, once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, I would I would love to, you know, do these more often. And uh, as always, you're the internet. I'm the wombat. Until we talk again, have a good time.